Right now, we're en route to a, a charity signing that Bad Religion's doing, so uh, gonna be doing that probably for like an hour. Okay. And then uh, our stage is right there, so in a few hours, we're gonna be performing right there for San Diego. Hey ho. So the organization that we're signing for is called Music Saves Lives and Unites the United. Here we are. I will be sitting on the edge. That's how I live. According to my parents, I was maybe two or three when I started walking, and uh, that's when they put drumsticks in my hands, and uh, it just went on from there. I think what drove me to become a drummer was just looking up to my heroes as drummers. I mean, my brothers being two of them, and my dad being an another one. My other drumming heroes growing up were uh, Tommy Lee, Terry Bozio. Uh, Louis Belson, Buddy Rich. So at a young age, I knew I wanted to do this, um, you know, for a living. And then I got into punk drumming and Josh Freeze was a big influence and a dear friend. So actually when he started playing with the Vandals, that's when I started getting into punk rock music. And then I ended up playing with the Vandals. So um, yeah, I went through a lot of phases and Still to this day, I listen to everything from Slayer to Miles Davis. Probably the biggest influence on me would be Terry Bozio. I was a huge Missing Persons fan, Zappa fan, and the guy's just so original, and to me, he can't do any wrong. Practicing drums was basically all I did. I had no social life. I had no high school parties that I went to just because I was so obsessed with the instrument. And. Uh, I don't really uh, recommend not going to high school parties because I became like really antisocial. <laughs> so um, go to high school parties, but also practice. So, but yeah, I, I just kind of developed this obsession over just perfecting uh, my instrument. And I'm not saying I perfected it, but I I was definitely driven en enough to to focus all my time and energy into learning as much about the drum set as I possibly could. My first tour when I was 14, my mom had to come out on tour with me. My mom was right below me in the bunk area. So like instead of a band of four, it was a band of eight because every band member needed a parental guardian to tour because um, we we're all minors. So we didn't do that much touring, but the touring that we did, it was, it was like the Partridge family. So, um, yeah, it was totally surreal, but, you know, um, it's, it was exactly what I wanted to do, so I wouldn't have traded it in for anything. Yeah, it looks like we're getting kicked out right now. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Sometimes.